In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, peace be with you. And a warm welcome as we gather uh, in the presence of Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament. O Sacrament most holy, O Sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O God, you have given us in this wonderful sacrament a memorial of your suffering and death. Grant, we pray, that uh, meditating on these mysteries of your body and blood, we may always experience in our lives the effects of your redemption. You who live and reign with God the Father, one God for ever and ever. Amen. From the day of its institution, the Eucharist has been central to our lives. The Vatican Council refers to it as the source and the summit of our life. Through our celebration of the Mass, we grow in union with Christ, our Lord and Saviour. But our relationship with, with Jesus, truly present, body, blood, soul and divinity in the Most Blessed Sacrament, does not cease, does not end when we leave the church after Mass. And a wonderful gift of the church is this viaticum, this food for the journey, a faithful companion as we make our pilgrimage through life. And through the time that we, we spend in prayer before the Blessed Sacrament, we have the opportunity to grow uh, in knowledge and understanding of both Jesus and ourselves. Yet we know from our experience, and certainly I know from my own personal experience, that sometimes uh, to spend any time before the Blessed Sacrament uh, can, be, can be difficult. We find it difficult to know what to say, or how to listen to Jesus, or how to hear his word for us. So for the next few minutes, let's just try and put aside these difficulties and spend some time with the one who waits, calls and welcomes all who come to visit him so that we might grow in knowledge and love and understanding of him and understanding of ourselves. So just for a few moments, I want to invite you to Listen to the scriptures as they speak to us of the wonderful gift that we, that we have uh, in, in the Eucharist. And the first reading is a reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the church in Corinth. Uh, it's significant for a number of reasons, not least that it's the earliest written account of what happened uh, on the night uh, Jesus uh, was handed over to die. Paul writes, This is what I received from the Lord, and in turn pass on to you, that the same night that he was betrayed, the Lord Jesus took some bread and thanked God for it, and broke it, and he said, This is my body, which is for you. Do this as a memorial of me. In the same way he took the cup after supper and said, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Whenever you drink it, do this in memorial of me. Until the Lord comes, therefore, every time you eat this bread and drink this cup, you are proclaiming his death. The psalm, um, there's, a, there's a response to the psalm you might like to to join in the response to the, the, the psalm at, at home. The, the, the blessing cup that we bless is a communion with the blood of Christ. How can I repay the Lord for his goodness to me? The cup of salvation I will raise, I will call on the Lord's name. The blessing cup that we bless is a communion with the blood of Christ. O oh, precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his faithful. 
Your servant, Lord, your servant am I. You have loosened my bonds. The blessing cup that we bless is a communion with the blood of Christ. A thanksgiving sacrifice I make, I call on the Lord's name. My vows to the Lord I will fulfil before all his people. The blessing cup that we bless is a communion with the blood of Christ. And the, the second scripture reading is taken from uh, St. John's Gospel, the sixth chapter, in which he speaks, to, uh, speaks of himself to us as the bread of life. Jesus said, I am the living bread which has come down from heaven. Anyone who eats this bread will live forever. And the bread that I shall give is my flesh for the life of the world. Then the Jews started arguing with one another. How can this man give us his flesh to eat, they said. Jesus replied, I tell you most solemnly, if you do not eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you will not have life in you. Anyone who does eat my flesh and drink my blood has eternal life, and I shall raise him up on the last day. For my flesh is real food, and my blood is real drink. He who eats my flesh and drinks my blood lives in me, and I live in him. As I, who am sent by the living Father, myself draw life from the Father, so whoever eats me will draw life from me. This is the bread come down from heaven, not like the bread our ancestors ate, they are dead, but anyone who eats this bread will live forever. Let's just for a moment sit with those words, of scriptures and maybe there's a, a word or a, a phrase that, that strikes you, that touches you as you reflect on the, uh, the scriptures that we've just heard. I am the bread of life. Anyone who eats this bread will live forever. And the bread that I shall give is my flesh for the life of the world. Jesus, how much smaller could you have made yourself? A piece of bread, the bread of life. How much more weak and helpless and all for love of us. You made yourself the bread of life that we might understand what you are saying to satisfy our hunger for you and our love for you. Wherever you are present, there is joy, there is peace, there is love. You make yourself the bread of life to be our life of love and joy. No one else can give what you give. Help us to realise and understand this more and more. I am the bread of life. He who comes to me will never be hungry. He who believes in me will never thirst. Lord, we, we are hungry and the world is hungry. We work harder, we produce more, we spend more. And still we're hungry, and the world is hungry. Men and women are thirsty, and they do not know where to quench their thirst. We yearn, and we do not know what we're yearning for. We are lonely, and afraid of our loneliness. Yet to us and to all men and women, you give yourself our food, our drink, our life. 
not there for the taking, but given and poured out for all who will receive, for all who, like you, will surrender themselves, will share their lives with their brothers and sisters. I am the bread of life. Yes, it is my Father's will that whoever sees the Son and believes in him shall have eternal life, and I shall raise him up on the last day. Lord Jesus, you are our life. Without you, we are nothing. Without you, we have nothing. Without you, we can do nothing. We thank you for making us as we are. We thank you for health and strength, for eyes to see, for ears to hear, for hands to work, for feet to walk and run, for a mind to thank, a memory to remember, for a heart to love. Lord, you are our life and we thank you. Make us worthy of your gifts. I am the bread of life. As I who am sent by the living Father, myself draw life from the Father. So whoever eats me will draw life from me. This is the bread come down from heaven, not like our ancestors ate, they are dead. But anybody who eats this bread will live forever. Lord Jesus, present in the Eucharist, we acclaim you as the love to be loved, the life to be lived, the joy to be shared, the bread to be eaten, the blood to be drunk, the truth to be told, the light to be lit, the peace to be given. Jesus, you are all in all. Do not work for food that cannot last, but work for the food that endures to eternal life, the kind of food the Son of Man is offering you. For in him the Father, God himself, has set his seal. Strengthened by your presence in the Eucharist, may we enrich the life of your church. Enjoy the joy of your help in the work that we do. Make us witnesses in the world to your love. When our day or our work is done, we ask that you find us a place at your table in heaven. So maybe we could we could draw our time together before the Blessed Sacrament to a close by praying together the the fifth uh, mystery of light of the, of the Rosary, the Eucharist. And um, in praying it to give thanks uh, for, for the gift of the Eucharist uh, in, in, in the Church, not, not just as we gather to celebrate Mass, but that we have that presence with us in, in many different ways, not least uh, Jesus present in, in the tabernacle, say, who waits, calls and welcomes all who come to visit him. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy. Hail, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this veil of tears. Turn then, most gracious Advocate, thine eyes, mercy towards us. And after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. We conclude our time together with a, a, a prayer of St. Pope John the Twenty-Third, before the Blessed Sacrament. For Jesus, present in the sacrament of the altar, teach all nations to worship you with a willing heart, knowing that to serve God is to reign. May your sacrament, O Jesus, uh, the, be the light to the mind, strength to the will, joy to the heart. May it be the support of the weak, the comfort for those who are suffering, the wayfaring bread of salvation for the dying, and for all the pledge of future glory. So thank you to you for joining me in this uh, time before the Blessed Sacrament today. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.
You are never alone. We are always there to pray for you. Submit your prayer requests at swprayer.org.